so weird. <laughs> that good? Okay hey guys, today we are in my kitchen because we are talking about food. Kind of exciting, but also this topic is kind of scary for some people and it used to be really, really scary for me. Today we are talking about steps you can take to overcome fear foods. So I'm talking to you if you are someone who has constantly been dieting, been afraid to eat carbs or afraid to eat over a certain amount of calories, or if you're someone who has been diagnosed with an eating disorder and really, really restricts and refrains from eating certain foods, and now you are trying to recover and you're on your recovery journey and you are looking at eating these foods again for your health, for your physical health, for your mental health, but it's scary. And I totally get it. It's scary because you've been the ha in the habit of restricting it for so long of saying, no, that's bad. And now you realize that it is okay to eat it, but because you've been the in the habit for so long, it is scary to overcome it. So today I'm gonna to talk about my tips to overcome fear foods, no matter what it is, whether it's deemed healthy or whether it's fast food, we are gonna overcome those fear foods. But before I get into my tips, I wanna talk a little bit about my own personal journey. So before I developed an eating disorder, I loved fast food. Like I, I love McDonald's, I love fries, I love burgers, greasy foods, all that stuff. And I used to eat it like every week, maybe more than once every week. And to me now, looking back at that, that was not healthy um, for a balanced diet. I'm cool like once a week or once every two weeks, and that's totally fine, whatever. But I was in the habit of eating it way too much. And I think that's why it became a fear food for me during my eating disorder because I thought that was the thing. That was what made me fat and healthy and all this kind of stuff. But it wasn't because you can eat all food in moderation. All food is good. It's just about balance. So I, my, my fear food and what is now really comfortable for me to eat is fast food, McDonald's, shout out to McDonald's. Um, so, so yeah, everyone has their own things, whether it's deemed healthy or not. Some people are afraid of bread and carbs just because it's all over the internet, don't eat carbs or all this kind of stuff. It could be like chocolate bars, it could be literally like potatoes even, things like that. So whatever your fear foods, food or foods, because there could be multiple foods that you are afraid to eat because of society just telling us don't eat them, they make you fat or gain weight or whatever. But we know, we know, we are smart enough that that is not right and we need to overcome that fear and it's a mental struggle that you need to overcome. So. Here are my tips. My first tip is to write down a list and you have to be super honest with yourself. And you don't have to show this list to anyone. It is totally personal, but be honest. Sit down and literally write down the foods you are afraid of. And then what you're going to do is tackle one food at a time. Some foods might be easier for you to overcome than others. For example, high carb fruits or vegetables, you know, those might be easier to overcome than, you know, going out to eat in fast food, and that's totally normal. But taking small steps is so key to overcome things. So make your list, and then maybe highlight things in green that might be more easier for you to overcome and challenge yourself with, and then maybe highlight things in red or orange or whatever color that it's gonna be a really big struggle for you, okay? And while you're doing this, this is also key, you need to realize that this is not going to be easy. This is gonna take a long time. You're not gonna overcome a food fear in a day. It might take months, it might take years, and that's okay. You need to be okay with the fact that it's gonna be challenging and it's gonna take a long time. With that being said, you need to be easy on yourself. When you are challenging yourself with eating these certain foods, it's gonna be hard. You might get really emotional, but do not, do not get mad at yourself if it's challenging, if you can't finish all of it, if you feel guilt after, that is totally normal. You need to be okay with the fact that it's challenging and know that when you do something you're afraid of, it's gonna lead to something really amazing and it's gonna lead to freedom, to food freedom, okay? So you have your list of foods, you have things that might be easier than others, you know it's gonna be a little bit challenging and that's okay and you're not going to be hard on yourself 
and we're gonna tackle one fear food at a time because it's hard enough as it is. So you're not gonna jump all in it and just go crazy because that's just asking for guilt and a lot of negative emotions, okay? So, and also it's really good to journal your feelings. You know, how are you feeling before you eat this? How are you feeling during? How are you feeling after? Maybe this food is something you don't even in enjoy anymore and that's cool. You're discovering this out about yourself, okay? Another thing that is super, super huge is Pair the act of eating your fear food with something that is comforting and enjoyable for you. That might be, you know, sitting in your room or sitting in the kitchen somewhere that is like home for you and it's just comfortable, you know, have your favorite, you know, sweatpants on and your favorite music on or something. Just setting the tone for comfort, okay? Also, it could be a person. I overcame, which was the hardest thing for me, was restaurant food, which was fast food. How did I overcome it? I overcome it by eating it with my boyfriend, Eric, who is 100% supportive. The first time that I had McDonald's in years was so scary for me, but so exhilarating at the same time because I knew I was doing something that was gonna be scary and challenging, but it was also gonna make me stronger. And this is two years later, we go out to fast food and have restaurants and McDonald's all the time, and I'm free. I feel good. It's just so easy for me. And a huge part of that was doing it and starting to process with someone that I love and someone that understood it and supported me through it. And there, of course, it wasn't easy the first time, second time, third time. You like, there have been times that I have cried before going out to a restaurant, right? And that's hard. That is a tough thing, not only for me to go through, but for my significant other to deal with. Like, who wants to go out? on a date with someone who is 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 terrified and and they know you're terrified so it, it, it's gonna be messy and that's okay but it's taken me years to come to the point now that we can go out for cheat meal dates or whatever you want to call them and I'm just fine I enjoy it and I truly enjoy a juicy burger and greasy fries that is my thing so you really if you take anything out of this video is to take it baby steps don't don't think that by tomorrow you're gonna have all your fear foods figured out you got to do one thing at a time you got to understand that it's challenging and you need to be easy on yourself that is the most important thing because it's gonna be hard and there's gonna be times where you are like I regret eating that no 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 but the more you do something that is challenging the better you get at it and the easier it becomes and you also realize that one food is not gonna make you fat is not gonna make you you know blow up it's not going to ruin your progress and your fitness journey guys one food is not gonna make or break you so really really think about that too one meal that's you know has a, a little more junk in it than others it's not the end of the world it's just living and it's just eating and I believe that a balanced lifestyle and a balanced diet is of course whole foods fruits and vegetables lean proteins healthy fats but it also means having a good relationship with food and if that means having your treats when you want to eat them that is what you should do. So those are my tips and I'm gonna take you along to mine and Eric's McDonald's date tonight so you can see how much food Eric orders and it's so easy for him and see what I eat and I'm gonna love it. So I hope you guys enjoy and let me know in the comments if this kind of helped you a little bit and let me know what fear foods you have and the best thing you can do is be open about it and be honest and be open to yourself because that is when change can happen. McDonald's. Are you excited? Super excited. Super excited. our McDonald's I got this wait is this mine oh no I got this seriously chicken and fries <laughs> and Eric got a quarter pounder what do you else you get two McDoubles yeah and a McFlurry and two junior chickens and two junior chickens and fries and, fries and, water. and water because we we're healthy so this 
this is what our cheat meal looks like. And we're gonna enjoy it. That's so weird. Mm -mm. Very good. <laughs> 